I'm Colonel Brian Mullery. I'm the logistics officer for 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force based out of Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Currently, I'm the Arrival and Assembly Operations Group officer in charge of 2MEF forces here in Norway. We are currently in Hammerensoden port in Norway. I'm standing in front of the USNS Sisler, which has pre-positioned equipment for the Marine Corps to use worldwide. In this particular case, we're going to use equipment from the Sisler in order to support Cold Response 22, which is a exercise that we're doing in Norway with our allies and partners, our NATO partners specifically today in conjunction with the Norwegians who provide us security at the port and also enable the offload of the equipment which we will move off of the Sisler behind me and then we will reposition it and put it on a ferry and it will transit up the fjords to the north and be delivered to units that are currently up north for employment during Cold Response 22. Okay, prior to uh, today, uh, we've done several operations with the Norwegians to include uh, bilateral conferences in uh, preparation for cold response so we could coordinate with the Norwegian logistics organizations for the support that we require. However, specifically, uh, on numerous occasions, they've assisted us at airfields in order to meet and greet our forces as they come in and meet transportation to move them on to their final exercise destination. And yesterday in particular, they assisted us shoulder to shoulder with us as we loaded equipment on rail cars in Hell, Norway, just south of here, this location. Uh, and then we transported those via the rail up to Buda, just north of the Arctic Circle. And they arrived today. So some of the positive feedback that we've received from partners and allies, our NATO partners, uh, from the Norwegians themselves was, you know, number one, it was good to have the uh, American presence with them as we start to access equipment and as we start to receive and stage equipment for the exercise and the operation. In particular, as we have, you know, movement of vehicles down Norwegian streets, we have Home Guard 12 in this case here, or Home Guard 14 in the north that are with us every step of the way. Just in case a vehicle has a problem, runs off the road, uh, you, you know, it, it breaks down. So the Norwegian Home Guard has helped us throughout. In particular here today, the Norwegian Home Guard is guarding this port as we have Marines and sailors that are focused on preparing the equipment to come off the ship tomorrow for its onward movement to uh, ports up north. The Arrival and Assembly Operations Group is approximately 500 Marines and sailors that come to us from across the Second Marine Expeditionary Force. And our mission is to receive equipment to stage it for onward movement. So each Marine and sailor of the AOG has a role and responsibility to play in this whether it's to come to Hammer and Soden here to offload the Sisler or to meet aircraft at an airfield to download equipment, personnel, and cargo and move them to their onward location or just manage the entire operation through our AOG Operations Center. Uh, the key role that the AOG plays and the arrival and assembly operation elements from each member of the 2MEF uh, major subordinate commands is essential to ensure that we have the equipment that we require to employ during exercise cold response or for that matter for any contingency around the globe that accesses pre-positioned equipment. It's simply that every day we learn something new about the environment here in Norway or about uh, our maritime pre-positioning operations. Uh, as we know some people have a lot of experience doing this, while many of our Marines have not done this recently. So the knowledge they're gaining every single day is beneficial and allows us to rapidly deploy and employ a force using pre-position supplies and equipment.